So you clicked on the thumbnail, so chances are you know exactly what we're about to review in this video. But before we get to that, there are a couple of things that you need to know. Number one, as someone who runs a YouTube channel, we tend to get offers to review products that let's be honest i probably wouldn't buy with my own money but sometimes i say yes to those products if it's interesting enough no matter how ridiculous it might be because it allows me to create content for you and there might be someone out there that might actually want to buy it the second thing is when it comes to this whole camp overland thing there tends to be a couple train of thoughts the first being that if you're gonna go out then you should leave the comforts of home behind like that's the whole point is to get out of your comfort zone and not have all the things that you're used to whereas the other train of thought is the whole point is to explore and be outside of the house and see new places and it's okay to bring the things that you need to be comfortable when you're out there. Me, I tend to fall somewhere in between those two philosophies. When I go out, I want to bring as little as possible. I don't want to bring the entire house with me. Like I'm not the guy that's going to bring a projector and a projector screen so we can watch movies at camp or have internet and cell signal. Although I will say that I like having those things in the event that we get into some sort of sticky situation and we're in the middle of nowhere and we need to be able to contact someone. But I don't want to have internet and cell signal just so that my son can sit around a campfire on his iPad. Now on the flip side there are things that I want to bring to make life a little bit easier because after a day of trailing and we get to camp set up camp and then cook food the only thing that I'm thinking about is getting to sit and relax by the fire as quickly as possible and I don't want to be doing chores and missing out on that time and if there's one thing that I truly hate at camp, that I know a lot of people there also hate, and that is washing dishes. Now I know that's a long drawn out intro just to review a portable dishwasher, but I needed you all to understand where I'm coming from and where I stood on this whole thing so that you give me a chance to review it before you just start firing off in the comments. Either way, let's go unbox this thing, man. This is the Hava Portable Dishwasher, and I am very well aware this is gonna raise some eyebrows and invite some unsavory comments below, which I am ready for, totally fine with, but that's exactly what we're gonna tackle in this review. Is this worth bringing out? Is this something that you might benefit from, or is it just better staying at home? But first, let's jump this studio into review mode. So just FYI, Hava did send this to me to review, but I'm not being paid for this review. In fact, I'm not even obligated to make a review video. They just wanted to send it out to me. They told me to try it out. And if I decide to make a review video, I can say whatever I want about it. All right, so when you buy the unit, obviously you're going to get the dishwasher. You're also gonna get a couple of things. You're gonna get your drain hose here, and then you're also gonna get a water line hose if, if you wanna attach this to a running water line to run this. You don't have to do that though and obviously when we're out you're not gonna have running water lines so you can pre-fill this with water and they do give you a water measuring jug thing to make sure that you put the exact amount of water that's needed for this you also get a fruit basket you can use this this unit to wash your fruits and vegetables obviously you're not going to be putting detergent in it when you do that but you can use this as an option to wash your fruits and vegetables i personally would rather do that by hand but if it's something that you want to use this for you can do that with this now this is by no means a small unit i actually thought it would be a little bit smaller but there is some size to it although it is not as big as the fridges you might be bringing around if you want actual specs it's about 17 inches deep 17 inches wide and about 18 inches tall this is a 
AC powered, so unlike your fridge, you can't run it off 12 volts. So you are gonna need some way to power this thing up, whether that's a really strong power bank, uh, inverter, or what have you. How much wattage this actually draws? Well, it doesn't say in the instruction manual. So later, we're gonna tie this up to a power bank and see how much power it's taking. Up at the top is where you fill it with water if you wanna run it that way and not tie this to an actual water line. Also at the top is a control panel where you basically control this thing and press buttons and see the status and what modes you're in. The door is see-through so you can see inside and see your dishes being washed. Inside is your tray and it actually rolls out pretty smoothly. You have your racks and then you also have a top rack up here and then you also have a little thing over here for your cutlery and things like that. There's also a little hook back here so you can clip this anywhere on the rack that you'd like. It rolls back really smooth. Inside of the door you have this little hole and that's where you put your detergent whether that's liquid or powder or you can even use pods. Now in the back you have your inlet for your running water and you have your outlet for your drain hose which you do have to attach. So one really cool feature about this drain hose is at the end of it you do have this little suction cup so wherever you route your drain hose to you can kind of suction cup it into place so it's not flailing around as this dishwasher is draining. But that's pretty much it. Not much else to it. It's a dishwasher. I mean I'm assuming you know how to use a dishwasher but let's go ahead and get this thing tested out because I'm dying to see how well this works Alright, so I got my dishwasher loaded up. I actually used the dishes that I used for breakfast this morning, but also I used the dishes and utensils that I would normally use at camp because that's what I really want to see how well this thing cleans it because that's what we'll be using. There's not a lot of space in there, but for like a family of two, depending on how much you use, you, you should be fine there. I also didn't rinse them because on the instructions it says I don't have to rinse the dishes. Just make sure you scrape off all the large pieces of food. I mean, you guys know how to use a dishwasher, same thing. And then I just dropped it all in there without any rinsing to see how well this really can clean. I also got the dishwasher plugged up to the Blue Eddy AC 180. So this is, this should be strong enough to be able to handle that. And I have it draining to a bucket below. So all that's left to do now is turn this thing on and see how well it works. So that thing lit up as soon as I closed the lid. Got a little power button there. Let's go ahead and press that. We have a few different modes here. You have normal. We've got speed. If you want this to go faster, you have soft for anything that might be, I don't know, fragile or soft, I guess. You also have baby care. So if you are using this to wash baby bottles and sanitize it and all that, that's that mode. And then you also have fruits. So if you're uh, using this to wash your fruits, that would be what you would choose. Oh, there's one more. Oh, it just it went to dry. Oh, there you go. If you want to do a dry mode, let's go to normal and we can hit start pause. All right, there you go. Water's running through it and cleaning it now. Now, wattage wise, it's fluctuating anywhere between 870 to 880. So that's a pretty significant amount of wattage that this thing is drawing. After the initial run, it now went down to like 36, 35 watts. This might be just efficient enough to be able to run off of one power bank. So the dishwasher is done. Really cool feature too. After it stopped washing and stopped drying, a UV light came on for like the last 10 minutes to basically sanitize everything that's in here. So that was a really cool feature. It drained very well. This bucket down here is, is filled with about five liters of water. Plates, uh, no 
uh, like leftover food on it it's not greasy so you know all the oil is gone i'm looking at the spatula i don't see any of those uh egg particles that i had on here when i first cooked it although there is some on here a little bit but you know these things tend to get stuck so i would probably scrape that off uh, better next time before i wash it everything smells good smells fine Sm looks clean super clean so yeah now as far as the power bank we have about 53 percent left this started off at a hundred percent this is the ac 180 which has 1152 watt hours so it's a pretty big power bank and it took 47 percent of this it's going to kill any of the smaller battery banks that you might have so just know that this would probably wash this about twice any more than that you're gonna have to recharge this power bank back up or get an even bigger power bank but otherwise it cleans really well let's uh we have a lot to talk about so let's go and kind of review this and discuss some of the positive and negatives about having a dishwasher with you at camp all right i'm about to start an argument you ready myth or fact you should not rinse your dishes before you put it in the dishwasher. I grew up being taught that rinse all your dishes first before you drop it into the dishwasher. That's what my parents kept telling me over and over again. But then dishwasher companies are saying, do not rinse your dishes, drop them in there because all the oils and grease and stuff actually helps for the soap and detergent to stick, which it feels so weird to me. Like to this day, I have to rinse my dishes before I drop it into the dishwasher, but then I'm being told that that's actually not efficient. What do you think? Drop it into the comments below. I would love to hear what you do personally at home. But pivoting over to this dishwasher, it cleans really well. It's probably going to be better than what I do at camp. I, I just don't like being at camp and washing dishes there because you just never know where to put the dishes down on. I don't want to put it on the floor and sometimes I have a table, but then it gets all cluttered and you know, you're know you doing like the dip thing and then you're kind of washing it off and, and it's just, uh, I don't like washing dishes at camp is all I'm saying. And something like this would definitely get rid of that one chore that I despise. Plus I also like that it didn't take up as much power as I thought it was going to take. I thought it was gonna just kill my battery completely and I'm gonna have to bring out a new one, but 47% is not bad. That being said, on the kind of the negative side of this thing, it does take up some power so if you want to run this every single night you need to have ample power for that and then the second thing is is the size i mean yeah it's it's smaller than what you have with your fridge which a lot of us have but with all the other cargo that i have to bring with me this is just not it's not going to fit the size is the only deal breaker for me like the the weight is not a lot it's actually pretty light and like it, it's it's lighter than my fridge and it's smaller than my fridge but the jeep and the forerunner does not have a lot of cargo area and after considering that we have a fridge in there and then we put in all of our gear there's just no space for this at all which is why it's sad for me to say that i can't currently take this with the existing setup that i have right now but for those of you that might have an rv or those of you that might have a sprinter van or even a trailer where you can fit something like this this might be really useful for you my goal is to eventually build like an ultimate overland rig that has a camper and if that's the case then i have no problems bringing this along because i'll actually have the space for it now what would be great though is if hava made maybe a smaller dishwasher than this that i can actually bring and it's a little bit more compact and it would be good too if it wasn't AC powered, but like a 12 volt. That way I can just plug it directly into a vehicle without me needing an inverter or plugging it into a power bank and something that's a little bit more efficient, that's not taking up as much power as this does. Is it silly to bring a dishwasher with you to camp? It depends on how you might feel about that, right? A lot of you want to keep all of your creature comforts at home because you're going out and that's the whole thing. That's the whole experience. And then there's the rest of you who want to bring some of that stuff to ease all the tasks at camp so you can get to what's really important. If you decide to go this route, just make sure you have the space for it because it is pretty big and that you have ample power to run this thing every single night that you're out. For me, unfortunately, at this time, I personally can't run this because it's, just, it's too big. It's too big. As much as I'd love to use it, it's just, it's just too big. I wonder how many people out there have actually complained that that's too big.
If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you smash, actually don't smash, rinse that like button, subscribe to our channel, click that notification bell so we can let you be aware of new videos when they come out. And if it moves you, support us on Patreon. It gives you access to all of our videos before everyone else and gives you access to our live streams when we do them. And as always, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at, we do it right here. Be Suburban 4601. My name is Asia Samson and I will see you next time. All right, now we gotta just clean this thing. Okay, that comes out like this. Mm. Filter is clean. All right.